Hi everyone, uh, welcome to Plain Patch. Uh, so my name is Paul uh, and welcome to the channel. So today what we're going to be doing is talking a little bit about how to get the very best out of your cauliflower heads. Um, so if you're new to growing cauliflower, it's one of those vegetables that is a little bit uh, challenging to grow because it is a little bit finicky um, to grow and it doesn't like really hot weather and you do get some unusual sort of outcomes or you can um, if you're growing in midsummer. No, so where we are here at the moment we're kind of in midwinter and you can see all the winter midwinter vegetables with broccoli, our, um, cabbage, pak choy, Brussels sprouts and we've got our cauliflower which is what we're talking about today. Um, so the, one of the biggest, one of the most common problems that we get yellower than say what um, what you get in the supermarket and the first thing before we get on to actually how to fix the problem what the problem is if you do get a yellow yellowing of cauliflower there's nothing wrong with it you can eat it it just doesn't look as nice as the other cauliflowers that you might have you might see in the supermarket but um, the main reason that you get that yellowing of the cauliflower is basically because um, it's exposed to too much sunlight um, and so what can happen is that once you get exposed to too much sunlight, you start to get the formation of some chemicals within the head that start to produce that sort of yellowing of the colour. Now you might be wondering at this point, well, how do the, um, the uh, commercial growers actually get those nice, white, fluffy heads? Um, well, there's, there's two ways that you can do it. So number one is you can pick the right variety. So there are certain varieties that are called, so within cauliflowers, white cauliflowers anyway, there is two major types of varieties. There is um, blanched and unblanched cauliflowers. Um, and so what that means is that the outer leaves ar around the cauliflower in a blanched um, variety will go over the top of the head and cover it and protect it. So that's the kind of thing that commercial growers will, get, will do. Now, if you don't know what type of variety you've got and it's in here and it's just happened to you, there are a couple of sort of easy tricks that you can do that you can do on small scale, which will work for your own garden. So what we'll do now is uh, have a quick look at some of the heads and what we can actually do to overcome the problem. Okay, so we're over in our cauliflower bed. Okay, so we've got a few of these cauliflowers are at a little bit different uh, stage than others. So you'll see that if you zoom in there, you'll see that we've got a few heads that are just starting to appear. And we've got some more that are yeah that are relatively exposed. So in this particular case, you can see that if it was a self-blanching variety, I can tell by just looking at it, what would happen is these leaves, the outer leaves here, would fold across it. Now in this case, that's not what we've got, um, and that's an open head variety um, or a, a non-blanching um, variety. So you might already see that it, on the camera, it may not be all that clear that we are getting a little bit of yellowing. Now if I was to leave that to its own devices it would just turn gradually just a little bit yellow not sort of irritated not really bright yellow but certainly um, um, certainly a, a distinct yellow color so if I want to do that the simplest um, technique that I can use you is you can manually tie the leaves across it but I usually like to use one of these nice and simple all it is is a peg just straight off the so I'm gonna put one on now and we'll hold the camera while I'm doing it okay very very quickly one, two, three. Okay, and if we see what I've done, less than 30 seconds, peg across the top, and that will pretty much overcome your problem. Um, and the stage at which you want to do that is probably at this sort of stage where the head is just starting to appear and you want to give it a bit of protection. Now, when you're applying the peg, you want to do um, you don't want to do it too tight because obviously we want the um, cauliflower's head to get a little bit bigger. Um, but if you do that, you're going to have those beautiful, nice, white, fluffy cauliflowers and solve that problem. Okay. Okay. So there you have it. That's exactly how you fix it. So I hope you found this little tip useful, and you have great success with your cauliflower at home. So if you enjoyed what uh, what was in this channel and you found it helpful, click the subscribe button. Uh, visit us at plantypatch.com, um, and we'll see you next.